Welcome back, everybody. January 27th, 2023. We have a few things to talk about today. That includes over the last 19 hours, four reported earthquakes in the state of Florida. We're going to talk about those, but we also have another situation taking place near a place I think you are all very familiar with. Do you remember the La Palma volcano eruption? Here's La Palma right here. That was in the news for weeks and weeks as one of the biggest eruptions we've seen in years from any volcano. Now look at the past 24 hours of earthquakes, which is about 111 miles away from La Palma exactly, but there's another major volcano on this island closer to where these earthquakes are taking place. This is an area called Tenerife with a large volcano on it that last erupted in 1909. Now again, these earthquakes all took place in the last 24 hours. Even if I were to go click the last 30 days, all it does is add one earthquake. So this is quite literally a swarm of earthquakes in the last 24 hours in a place that you do not usually see earthquakes, which means something is going on in this area, and this is exactly what happened before La Palma erupted. We had tons and tons of earthquakes down in this area to the southeast of La Palma leading into the actual caldera itself, which then in turn caused the eruption. It was a movement of magma that's under the surface of the sea and then of course under the floor bed of the sea, and when you go deep enough, there's quite literally lava down there that will flow into an area of a volcano and then cause it to erupt. Now again, yes, this is 111 miles away from the La Palma volcano, so this probably has nothing to do with La Palma, I'm assuming, and I'm taking a guess here that this has to do with Tenerife, and the actual volcano is called Tide or TD. I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced, but this is the main volcano on that island where these earthquakes are taking place. This is the Wikipedia page, and you can see in this little map right here, it's in the dead center of that island. And there's La Palma here, and those earthquakes are taking place right about in this area here. As I said, just like what happened with La Palma. A very quick look at historical eruption. It says this volcano last erupted in 1909, which is clearly well over 100 years ago. So as we jump into Google Earth, I just want to show you guys really quick, 111 miles exactly from the caldera of La Palma, going dead across the center of this TD or Tide volcano, and then just again to the east of it is where this grouping of earthquakes took place. So this is an area we definitely need to be watching over the next few days. Again, every one of those earthquakes took place in the last 24 hours, and then not a single other earthquake took place besides that one I showed you in the last 30 days. So a significant swarm, and absolutely something we need to keep an eye on because this volcano is just as big, if not bigger, than La Palma itself. Before we get to the Florida earthquakes, I know a lot of you heard about this. I've not made a video on this yet. I'm just going to show you a quick article, but asteroid 223BU, space rock passes closer than some satellites. This was quite literally one of the closest passes an asteroid has made to Earth basically in history. I was watching a few videos of some scientists talking about this situation, and they basically found this thing only last Saturday before realizing how close it would actually come to the Earth. This asteroid was the size of a minibus and whipped over the southern tip of South America just before 0030 a.m. GMT time. The approach was 3,600 kilometers away or 2,200 miles. It counts as a close shave. That's a term they use when an asteroid comes that close to Earth. It was actually closer to Earth than most of our satellites that are out there. But the fact that this thing came out of nowhere and was not known about until just days before it actually came close to Earth is what has people worried. As far as any sort of warning system or an attempt to stop one of these things from crashing into Earth. Now, before I move on, I just want to show you this part right here. Even if 2023 BU had been on a direct collision course, it would have struggled to do much damage. Because it was the size of a minibus, our atmosphere more than likely would have broken it up enough to where it could have been a minor strike or it could have been something that exploded in the sky like we saw over Russia back in 2013, I believe. It could have been 2015 that blew out windows, actually injured people. One of the biggest explosions explosions we've ever seen, but I believe that was actually a meteor. So who knows what this thing could have actually done to Earth had it been on a direct course and actually went into our atmosphere and struck land or water. I cannot see anything good happening out of that situation, but I want to bring you the latest information on this asteroid. We do have a lot more coming and they're coming very close. I'm going to cover that in a future video. 
And now that we've talked about the La Palma situation and the Tenerife area, that landmass we just showed where, where all those earthquakes took place. Now let's take a look at Florida. Over the last 24 hours, we have one, two, three, four reported earthquakes. Now again, Volcano Discovery allows people to come on and report shaking, and then they decide whether or not it was an actual earthquake or some type of explosion. But again, when you get four of these in one state within a day, this was actually all within 19 hours. I believe this was the oldest one. 19 hours ago. The one down here near Miami was 16 hours ago, so those were three hours apart. And then these two in the middle here, one was six hours ago, and then we got this one here, which was nine hours ago. So again, all within the last 20 hours, give or take, we've had four reported earthquakes, three of them in a closer proximity than the one down in Miami, but still a very interesting situation. We've been covering Florida and its earthquake uptick over the last couple months. And I have plenty of videos where there have been actual verified earthquakes in in the state as opposed to some of these being disregarded or they could have been something else basically anything people feel but I felt this was important to report to you guys I'll leave the link in the description box so you can go check out the user reports but for those of you that follow this channel you and I know that this is not common you don't see four of these in Florida within that short period of time without something going on so once again I will keep a close eye on the state of Florida as well as the other earthquakes going on around the world and last but not least we had a massive CME blast off the backside of the sun so no threat to earth but the size of this thing is absolutely incredible and in fact on the charts that we look at to measure these things just two days ago we talked about this m-class solar flare that came off the sun but look at this signature right here that goes down when you see these that means that the cme came off the back end of the sun as opposed to the ones you see here that would be considered earth facing so if they go up that means they are anywhere from the left side to the right side of the sun that faces the earth at that time when you see this signature right here this crazy 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 line set up you know it was a back end explosion and when you go to this time frame this is exactly what you see a massive fast moving cme that basically hits venus dead on you can see in the chart right here this green ball right here you match it up to here that is venus earth is this yellow dot over here so again this came off that back end of the sun it won't affect earth but still definitely a very powerful cme and again these areas of the sun where these are coming from are going to be earth facing again at some point but at any moment one of these things could be launched at earth and it would cause significant effects on the earth we spoke about that many times please check out my previous videos on the recent activity of the sun because it's been absolutely unbelievable and it's just a matter of time before one of these are directly launched towards our direction all right my friends that's what i got for you for today again i will keep an eye on the state of florida and its earthquake situation or possible earthquake situation and we will certainly be watching the Tenerife Island with this earthquake swarm just to the southeast of the caldera of that TD or tide volcano. Very interesting situation going on in the Canary Islands. All right, everybody, I appreciate you all. Shout out to Canada, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. right there my friends if you have not already click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed